Very exciting. Uh, I was one who enjoyed fast bowling, so for me it was a real challenge and something that I enjoyed. Uh, I remember being told by the captain, David Gower, the Sunday before the test match that I was uh, involved in the game on the following Thursday. And the whole of that day that we were due to play a Sunday league game was a blur. It was, uh, it was an amazing day and very exciting for the three or four days leading up to the match. Fortunately, I got a start. I got 50 in the first innings uh, of that test match, so it was, it was an encouraging start. I think just being able to go out on some of the great grounds in the world and play uh, a sport that I have loved since being a youngster and still love today. Uh, the team spirit, uh, the camaraderie amongst the team within the dressing room uh, is completely different to anything else that I will ever know, I think. Although I have to say working with the ICC colleagues here, you get a little bit of that team spirit that comes through as well. So, I think those two things are the, uh, are the things that I will treasure most. He was always, like me, someone who wanted to play all sports. He played cricket, he played rugby a little bit, he also played uh, field hockey. So the, he went to a school that covered all those sports. He was also quite good academically at, at the school that he went to. As far as talking cricket is concerned, you know, he had cricket coaches at school, uh, both of whom were international cricketers, Frank Hayes and David Steele. And the last thing he would have wanted was to come home and get his dad telling him about uh, how to play a shot or how to bowl a ball. So we didn't talk a huge amount about cricket as he was growing up, but um, I've followed his career closely uh, throughout his career and have enjoyed every moment of it. When I was at school, I, I did the same things that Stuart did. I played rugby, I played hockey. Um, I never really played football, but I enjoy watching a good game of football. I'm a sports fan. Now, now that I can't run around as I used to as a youngster, my favorite sport is golf. I like to be able to get out on the golf course and, uh, and walk 18 holes. And uh, I'm not really a gym person, so that I find is the uh, best form of exercise for me. Very strange really, I was at home one day and the phone rang from uh, ECB asking me if I uh, would like to be put forward as a match referee. I had not really taken any interest in what match referees were doing, but I was asked whether I would put my, myself forward, which I was happy to do. Then within hours I got a phone call to come down to Lords because that's where ICC was based in those days uh, and I was interviewed by Malcolm Speed and Sonil Gavaskar at the time uh, and asked to be put on the, or they asked me to, to be put on the reserve list virtually immediately, which I was on for about 18 months and then in 2003 Christmas time I was given my first appointment uh, to New Zealand for a Pakistan series and I haven't looked back since. Very nervous because uh, I didn't really know uh, the teams or the, my responsibilities and I think uh, as anyone starts a new job they're always going to be nervous because of, they're unsure of, of what's going to happen but uh, very quickly found that uh, the umpires were a great support uh, to me and, uh, and the players were, although they didn't know what my role wa was, they soon got to understand it and uh, I've enjoyed every moment of it since. Oh, most memorable match. India-Pakistan, when they were playing each other some years ago, that, that was uh, dealing with Inzamam and, uh, uh, and, and some of the Indian players. They, they are most memorable, I think, for, for me. Mm -hmm.